Hello everybody, welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Rector. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And if you guys are on Twitter, you can follow me there as well, at Art by Jar. Um, today's topic is, it should be very quick. Well, hopefully it's quick. And um, we're back here in Mega Studio. Uh, EX, I should point out, uh, number four. And uh, th this here is a viewer question. It's one of uh, one of your guys' questions. So I'm going to put out at the beginning, uh, the last few videos, I'm trying to get this, this ball rolling with this with you guys. Um, so if you would like me to cover a topic, um, art-related in some sense, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, what I'm doing is uh, once a week I'm going to take a look at the comments and try to find the ones that stick out or maybe they have the most thumbs up or whatever. And I'll try to I'll, I'll record a video just for you guys uh, for something specific that you guys are looking for. And like I said, it could be anywhere from anatomy, maybe something in Manga Studio, Photoshop, digitally drawing, traditionally drawing if I if I'm able to. Um, so yeah, go ahead and post in the comments, and we'll get that party started. So, oh boy, I had it open. Who asked this question? So I apologize that I don't have it here. But basically, they were asking um, how do they open a JPEG of a thumbnail that they've scanned in into um, Manga Studio. Uh, now what I'm what I'm, uh, I'm I'm assuming is that it might be just as easy as that. How do I get it in here? How do I get it started? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it a little bit more. I'm going to say what I would do after I've got it in here and how to how I get ready to get on full production with the page. So right here is an uh, uh, an average comic book page that I normally have. It's a uh, at least at this point 300 DPI image. This live area is 10 by 15. So I'm going to go uh, file right here under import. And you just want as uh, simple as that is an image file. Uh, you can even do Photoshop if you have Photoshop with layers and stuff, but uh, it's just a raw JPEG image. And this is from uh, the standard, uh, which you can check out at thestandardcomic.com. These are all the thumbnails here that I've done for that project. These are actually done uh, with pencil, so it works out pretty good. And what I'll do is uh, just going to try to pick a simple one here. Uh, sure, we'll go with this one. And this would have been the JPEG that you'd scanned in. And I just click open. And as you can see, it puts it in there right where you need to be. And uh, right here, when you're doing your scale, just make sure, uh, where is it? Right here, keep aspect ratio is locked. That way, when I grab it here, um, it, it's it's pretty good. Um, what you might want to do, actually, I, I should take that back. If you turn that off, you can adjust it how you want it. Because sometimes, you know, if you're just doing a rough um, triangle, let me zoom in so you can see. Uh, like the rough thumbnail here is just a sketched in border. There's nothing permanent there. Uh, just be careful that you don't stretch out your characters too much. Uh, I'm just going to fit it in. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it looks good to me. Click OK. And uh, if this is the end of your question, there you go. It's that easy, but I'm going to assume it's not. Um, so what I would do is I would usually just rename it to like thumbnail. Um, you can keep the layer there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just for clarity, I'm going to move it down. Make sure up here you change the color view. Uh, you may be able to just get away with doing the opacity like this if that's what you like to do. Um, I like to make it blue so it blacks out even more and drop the opacity a bit. Uh, so I have it there. Now the next step I would do is I'm going to make a new layer and we're going to go here to the layer type, change it to our uh, panel ruler layer. Click OK. Make sure your panel ruler settings are already all s established. I'll just bring it open. If you go to Window, Properties, should show up here. Um, up here on your um, navigation bar, if you click on the create panel and hold it, you get this panel ruler cutter. So we're going to click that. And uh, now wherever you drag it, uh, you'll see, we'll get a line. And if you hold shift, it'll go straight. Now for me, that gutter might be a little too small. So I'm just going to go here. Now if you, where is it here? So make sure I got it right for you guys. Click on panel ruler in the line width. Um, that's actually not the right spot. Let me see if I can right click. No. Hmm. That's a little embarrassing here. Uh, where are we? This line width is going to change how thick that line strokes. It's not going to be. Uh... <clears throat> here, let me try this one here. Nope. Nope, it's not that. Okay, well, I apologize, but um, there is a way, <laughs> and unfortunately, I can't, I can't see it right now. But you can change it to make the gutter uh, a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to use my thumbnail as a guide. I break up this comic page, just like that, and then you right-click on there and go to uh, Rasterize Layer. Uh, keep the original layer, sure. What that does is it keeps a um, 
a copy of your your um your your panel. So you can move these and adjust them if you wanted to. I'm actually going to turn that off. Turn my uh, panel layer up. Move this above everything. So what it's going to do, what it's going to do, is uh, basically make the gutters for you. Then the next step we would do, I'll actually do it on this one so you can see a little bit. Um, we got our thumbnail. I'm going to make a new layer. Just call this one rough. And uh, just go over top. You can you can see how it's going to get a little pixelated and stuff. And uh, you could grab your pencil tool if you wanted to. Sometimes I just like using a regular pen tool. And uh, what what I would do here is I would start blocking in the structure a little bit better. And this is pretty rough, but uh, I think you guys will get the idea. You're basically taking those thumbnails that you had and you're just beefing them up. And you could take this stage here as far as you want, you know. Maybe it's Superman and you want to have his like symbol right here. Have more information for where the abs are, you know, your pecs. Maybe he's got a cape blowing in the background here. That's cool. Uh, as you can see, I just have an oval. I'll zoom in so you can see it. In the initial thumbnail, I just had an oval for the head. So what I'm going to do is just construct the head a little bit more. I give him a neck. Toss in his traps. Give him some lats there. You know, really probably put some detail in the hands. They look like claws right now. That's okay. Then we got this cat down here. His head kind of turned. Basically, you want to give yourself enough information so that you don't feel lost or confused. Um, because I'll tell you right now, if you're if you're throwing final lines down or, or even inks, and you're confused on like a hand, uh, it's a lot of nightmare. So you may as well spend some time here clearing this up. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run. And anything that saves you time. Uh, should be your best friend. So give his legs there. And uh, the background looks fine to me. I don't need to go in there any further. Uh, so some people what they would do is they would just turn the whole layer off like that. You don't necessarily have to do that. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll go into the thumbnail here, let's grab my eraser, and I'll erase what I just tightened up underneath. You know, So that initial thumbnail I had, just erase it there. And what I've done there is if I click on the rough and I turn that blue, I can actually mer merge that with the thumbnail there. Yep, that's cool. And there you go. You know, you got your rough line. And I mean, I could repeat that process to tighten it up as much as I wanted to. Or um, let's say he he was good enough as he is. So just grab it and boom, we're getting into the inks. Uh, it's that, well, I hate saying things are that simple, but it really is. Uh, once you do this enough times, like just uh, a few pages, I think you'll you'll understand what you can and can't do, and what you need to do to be able to do what you can't do. Did I, did I lose you? So we'll get the head in there, you know, and, you know, this could still be a rough layer, no problem. Or zoom out, but that's uh, that's usually how I do my pages there. So you would just repeat that for every panel and every page and every book that you do. So again, uh, leave a comment if you if you like the video or, or especially for a specific topic you'd like me to cover. And I'd be happy to uh, take a look at those comments and uh, address some of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you can check out my website, and my work at jonathanrector.com. If you guys are on Twitter, just follow me at artbyjar. And until next time, guys, keep reading comics and keep making comics. Take care.